Welcome to today's screencast. Today we're going to uh, introduce the idea of the standard deviation and just talk a little bit about what it actually means. But to start, uh, we need to be clear about what is meant by the term mean, the mean average. So let's say we take um, four measurements of the heights of individuals. Um, let's say those heights come out as um, as follows. So we might have measure somebody who is 70 centimeters tall. We might have somebody who is 80 centimetres. We might have somebody who is 66 centimetres. And uh, say one more person who is 84 centimetres. And we can calculate what their average or what their mean height is by adding up all of these values. So we add 70 to 80 to 66 to 84 we'd have a total of 300 centimetres that's the total and now if we wanted the mean the mean average the mean average would be 300, that's the total, divided by the number of individuals we measured, which is 4. And that equals 75 centimetres. And so we can uh, write this more generally as uh, the total, so we call total T, divided by N, where N is the number of samples, equals U, which is the mean. And so that's simply the average height of a group of individuals that we perhaps measure. So let's write down those heights again. So we had height in centimetres and they were 70 80 66 and 84 and then we knew that uh, the mean is equal to 75 centimetres Now the standard deviation tells us by how much the heights vary from the mean. So if we were to plot this on an axis, so we draw an axis like this, and let's say um, we have the mean mu sitting here, so we know that that's equal to 75. And so this line is simply represents the mean. And now if along the bottom we have each of our samples n, so we have our, our measurement number one. So if I just we have columns of one, two, three, four. And so measurement number one, well that was 70. So let's say that's 70. Now measurement number two, let's say, that's measurement number one. Um, measurement number two was 80. 
is route number two up here. Is it 80? And then we had measurement number three, which is 66. So that's somewhere down here. Let's see. That's 66. That point there represents measurement number three. And finally, measurement number four, we'll say is 84, let's extend the axis up here, 84. So yeah, that point there across there represents measurement number four. And this line represents the mean at 75. Now if we look at the distance that each point is from the mean so that distance there in red we can call that are the residuals. And we can calculate this. So for for this uh, one, we, we simply say, so the residual is mu minus uh, the value that we measure. So in this case, we have a, a mean of 75 uh, minus 70. So the residual is 5. In this case, we have a mean of 75 minus 80. So the residual is minus 5. In this case, for the third sample, we have a residual, we have a, a measurement of 66, a mean of uh, 75, and so the um, residual is 9. And likewise, uh, for measurement number 4, we have a measurement of 84 and a mean of 75, so the residual is minus 9. Now, unfortunately, because we've got negative numbers in here, um, we want to get rid of that sign. And the way that we do that is by squaring each of the residuals. So we have the squared residual. So if we square each of these residuals, we can have 5 squared equals 25, minus 5 squared is equal to 25, at 9 squared equals 81, and minus 9 squared is equal to 81. If we sum all of those together, we get the um, sum of the squared residuals. So we get the sum of squared residuals. And that is equal to um, root. And that is equal to 212. The next step is that we want to determine the, um, what the mean sub, uh, squared residual is. So we've determined the sum of the squared residuals. So to determine the mean squared resid residual, we simply 
you take the sum, which is 212, divide it by 4, or n, divided by n, which is equal to 4, so it's 212, divided by 4, and we have 53. So now we have a mean squared residual of 53. And so the final step in to determine, to determine what the standard deviation is, is simply to take the square root of that 53, which equals about 7.3. And so simply the standard deviation just tells us something about the average uh, residual from the mean in each of the measurement values. So it's just telling us how far each of our measurements uh, on average depart from the mean.